Hey guys, welcome to another commentary down by Diggity. This is going to be the final match of Group D. We got Radley going up against Zazu. Upper left hand corner is Zazu starting as the Blue Zerg, aka top speed. Upper right hand corner, we got Radley starting as the Red Terran. I expect more. This is on shooting break, by the way, which, oops, didn't mean to get rid of that, which we haven't seen a ton of. Up to this stage, it's got that Enclave uh, mineral only base and kind of the weird double gas that's, it's sort of a double gas, but it's actually the 5,000 gas split in two which allows it to mine a little bit more rapidly, but doesn't allow for, I still have yet to see anyone utilize this. It does, I think, encourage Zerg to go back to three base play, uh, but having a little bit more rapid gas, I don't know what it, maybe just encourages three base all-ins more than anything. Anyway, what Radley has done up to this stage has primarily been opening up with that two racks pressure play Sticking on, almost looking Protoss-esque these days, going for one base plane. He's definitely caused, he's thrown his opponents off guard time and time again with this. Are we seeing an Overlord built? No, no Overlord queued up yet for Zazu. So it looks like sneaking an extra drone, maybe to go for a nine pool, recognizing, yeah, technically a 10 pool right there, which is slightly more economically efficient. And I think that might have been what was happening with the previous Zerg knowing uh, Radley and his antics. So going to sneak out that 10th drone to stay a little bit more economically feasible. This drone's going to go ahead and move out to scout to find his opponent's base. I would be a little bit surprised if Radley didn't open up the double racks once again. Overlord making its way bottom left and corner. I believe this drone scout's still going to go top right. We'll have to see. Might go cross map. No, it is in fact going top right. And this is going to give those initial zerglings the exact location of where they need to engage. There are going to be, so with the potential two racks in play, that is going to, oh, are we not seeing the two racks this time though? Okay, no, we are seeing the, well, maybe, no, it looks like it was going to be one racks play this time. And now, because it's just a single racks, this could be bad for Radley actually. Usually this is a massive punishment versus a 14 command center or play like that. It's still defendable with early uh, barracks play. And it comes down to micromanagement as far as how effective or ineffective it is in early stages. Zazu having trouble positioning. And it looks like Radley is beneficially going to end up with that first scout. Trying to still go back and... Ooh, so two Zerglings actually pulling off to deal with that SCV. To get that, that natural expansion hatchery. Nice play from Radley right there to go ahead and create that delay. First Marine is out. Did that Marine get... Seeing if there's a kill here. SCV's pulling off the line to go ahead and blockade that ramp. It is an inverted ramp, keep in mind, which makes it a little bit more frustrating. But the Marine looks like he is, in fact... Well, I thought he was cozy. Now he's exposed to those two Zerglings. So dies. Bad micro there on Radley's part. Another Marine is out. Those SCVs are gone as well. And that might be the flub right there. Zazu might be able to take the game now. More SCVs pulling off the line. So keep in mind, this is still a big economic hit for Zerg to open up Nine Pool like this. But the, Z the Zerglings are, in fact, getting on top of the Marines. And this is a lot of SCVs off the line trying to engage these Zerglings. And it looks like more Marines getting picked off. More SCVs getting picked off in the opposite field. And the worker count just about even. I think that's with the, especially with that hatchery coming online. Oh, this, this drone was idle for quite a bit of time. That's going to end up being extremely beneficial for Zazu. Let's see if Radley responds to this with, uh, you know, he's just going to drop a command center. So he is going to continue with the one racks into a command center build. We have gas behind this. But severe economic damage done to Radley here in the opener. Hatchery up. One thing is, is this Overlord does need to kind of skirt down. I'm not sure what the Overlord path I could even take, actually, to get near the Marine positioning to kind of keep an eye on things. We have gas getting dropped. So Radley wants to go for either, a, again, a shift mech play or 1-1-1 style play. SCV going to go out and scout, try to see the situation. A creep colony getting dropped. I don't even know. That. I'm trying to think a situation. I guess the creep colony, you spend a drone so you don't have to build four Zerglings, is I think the, the, the thought behind this. Uh, and that's going to be morphed immediately. That SCV is going to be able to get into the main without too much trouble and see that layer morphing. Preventative bunker up for Radley as well. Saving Larva, but the worker count very, very close, which means Terran is potentially in Danger Town. No third hatchery behind the lines as of yet. We do see a pair of Zerglings being built, I presume, to deal with this SCV. But all of this is looking like it's going to transition into two hatch Mutalisk. Spire's there. The SCV should be able to scout it. 
drone might just opt to drop it and we see a second extractor as well. Yeah, this is definitely, I think this is going to be all in Mutalisk from here. So SEV has to know, and that's got to be respected. And we're having a factory follow-up, which means, ooh, this could be a big challenge for Rally to defend. He's going to have to overproduce turrets. First of all, he needs to get that engineering bay down. Second of all, he needs to overproduce turrets to potentially defend against this. This could be uh, one problem with 111 on delay like this is you're ending up with Wraith, which are basically pa paper airplanes, and lessened because keep in mind when you're going that factor, when you're going that starport, that's resources that aren't Marines in the early game. SCV gets wiped out, does not detect the Spire. The single Zergling going to go ahead and meander forward. So we have the Academy behind this. We've got the Engineering Bay being plopped down. And that factory now is, yeah, I think this is lying fallow effectively because he's recognized as, okay, I actually do need to just skip the starport. Is he still going to go starport? Still going to drop starport. Let's see if this is to get, I presume this isn't to just go rapid science vessels and it's still an attempt at a continuation of 111 minus the vulture. But the barracks still is remaining silent. And that means, man, he's going to need a lot of, he's going to need a lot of turrets. And we'll see how Zazu is able to abuse this in the early stages. Uh, and I do believe this is going to be just straight to mutil uh, straight mutilus flood with the second gas and no additional hatch. Well, actually, sorry, we got an additional hatchery bottom left. Missed that. Pocketing it in the bottom left hand corner. But I believe at the very least this is going to be some version of Crazy Zerg in response. So it's just going to be pure mutilisk and Creep Colony to try to defend. The Zergling camping out on the front to see if any Marines were in fact moving out. We do have initial turrets being constructed, but we got a slew of seven Mutalisks queued up on the way. No plus one weapons, however, which surprises me a bit with the additional gas. Compsat seeing the Mutalisks in route. This is a lot of territory to defend. You can see where this is a, a hard to defend back area. And again, not a lot of Marines and no Wraith. It looks like it's going to be straight movement to science facility to try to get that starport up and honestly I think that's a mistake from Radley and I expect him if Zazu has decent mutilus micro I, I have a feeling he should be able to abuse the undersized marine army even with additional turrets out there as soon as he has a sufficient mutilus count I think he's just waiting for the 8 slash 9 to get in the overall position uh, the one beneficial aspect of this of getting oh we're seeing covert what covert ops okay Ghosts. Radley's starting to stunt now and go for some craziness. Trying to open up those Zerg eggs so they can go back and forth with this. I have never seen the ghost defense against Mutalisk. This will be a first. Covert Ops has been spotted. Looks like Zazu taking at least a Mutalisk kit, but I expect... Um, well, actually, no. I take it back. He's folded back. Very confusing play. He's folded back to Hydralisk and Mutalisk here behind all of this cloak getting upgraded are worse are we gonna see a nuke play do we have we do have an open command center to potentially go for some sort of nuke we have cloak being upgraded keep in mind that covert ops was in fact spotted radley moving out with the medic marine force honestly zazu missing an opportunity i think if he had just produced a lot more mutilisk he would have been able to tear through what's here but didn't recognize and spot the the neglectful barracks count. I'm not sure if he registered the covert ops. Control tower being built as well. Two additional barracks. And so this is a follow-up all-in off two base play. Potentially here from Radley. Compsat station canceled. I'm waiting to see the nuclear silo. Waiting for it. Once the resources are there. So we got cloak. We got covert ops. Some Marines, we got the, the five barracks to produce all sorts of troops. Plus one weapons is going to finish. Just waiting for that ocular being, so it is in fact ghost play. Third base up, we have some gas being dropped. We have four hatcheries potentially in play for Zazu now. Some lurkers and hydralisks moving out. I'm going to admit this is not efficient play, by the way. Part of the problem with nukes is they take forever to upgrade. Nada did try to pull off a nuke rush once. Oh, the mutal is getting hammered midfield we have hold position lurkers there as well though let's see if radley holds up short i presume so because i'm expecting a dropship no science vessels to start go figure interesting so it's going to be there's the nuclear silo being constructed it's going to take quite some time for that nuke to come into play though in the meantime three gases up 
Zazu's not made any motion. He's going Hydralisk once again. Interesting. Four, bla four base Hydra into this. Maybe he was anticipating uh, some form of mech switch. I don't know the mechanics, honestly, of Hydralisk versus Ghost. But we got a bunch of Ghosts out in the front. Some Lurkers. Lurkers are, get heavily ranged by Ghosts at the very least, but they take forever to chew through. Some Hydralisk planted bottom left. This is very odd play indeed, I'm going to have to say. And another command center being built behind the lines to make it pseudo three base, but keep in mind this is just a thousand gas back here. Not sure that it's worth it. Plus one weapons is there, plus one armor on the way. And it looks, I, I presume this is going to be a bunker ghost play. And I think the SCV just wandering up to maybe claim this space for his own. This is very odd, very odd indeed. Maybe we're seeing the, the new meta though. Could also be a uh, lag meta. We got a nuke now in construction. Do we, is it just gonna be on the ground or are we gonna see a dropship attempt to sneak these ghosts behind the lines? Radley not being shy about presenting. So he's, we got, yeah, not being shy by about presenting these troops at all. He needs to funnel the ghosts forward. Ooh, needs to be careful with them though. Oh man, he's having trouble controlling this army though. Is taking some severe damage as a result. And I would honestly, if I was Zazu at this stage, I would be scratching my head. Hell, I'm the commentator right here and I'm scratching my head. Additional sunken colony getting dropped. Mech usually heavily does this. I do believe these ghosts with the ocular impact plant can range the sunken colonies. But they're just such fragile units that usually it's just not sufficient. Radley up 10 supply, however. And he's missing this counterattack from the rear. We are seeing a nuke, a defensive nuke at the natural expansion. This hostile league has everything. Let's see if it lands. There's no overlord in position. And unfortunately, the ghost dies. So... And when the ghost dies, you lose that nuke. So a huge swing in events, that natural expansion with the force liftoff, a huge crushing blow for Radley. He's going to press forward. Trying to, to punch into that suck in line with the ghosts. But his way, way behind in this match. The ghost strategy was a massive risk to begin with, I have to say, particularly in a final stage like this. He is able to pick off some Hydralisks on the corner. Overlord's grouping up briefly. A Medic taking some damage. Another Marine going vacantly out. Zazu should have this. Looks like we do have a dropship being built. Do we have another nuke? No, no other nuke in play, however. Also, no Comsat, keep in mind, which is going to make dealing with this all the more difficult. Radley, rather than pressing the front, is going to draw his ghosts back. I don't see any overlords in the forward field, so with some cloaking, they might be able to clean this up eventually, but it's going to take a lot of time. And honestly, if Zazu just attack moves, should be able to clear this up. So now the cloak forward. Ooh, a couple ghosts. Not quite there. Yeah, now working on those forward lurkers to try to save this, but it looks like some lurkers have managed to climb into that back edge. Radley should GG at this stage, honestly, but kind of showboating a little bit, clearing out the lurkers at the natural expansion. With the ghost, there are no overlords here. Overlords and lurkers and hydralists now sweeping out. But again, uh, medic marines do pretty well against this, especially without focus fire. But Radley's still going to GG. It looks like Zazu going to advance the round of eight. Fun games from Radley regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.